May God add a blessing to you, the hearing of his word. If I had to put a subject to this, I would call it, This is Just the Test. Yeah. Amen. 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 This is just a test. Let's start in verse 1. There was a man, well, before I say this, I'm not going to assume that everyone knows the story of Job, mm -hmm. although it is a very popular story. But I'm not going to assume that everybody knows it, so I'm going to take time and tell it to you. There was a man in the land of others whose name was Job. Yeah. And that man was perfect. That word perfect meaning he was complete and upright and one that feared God and eschewed in other words, he stayed away from evil. And there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. Verse 3, his substance was also 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen. That yoke of oxen is talking about two oxen, a pair. So if it was 500 yoke, it's a thousand. And 500 she asses. She asses is talking about donkeys. That's where they got the milk from. And a very great household, so that this man was the greatest of all the men of the East. Verse 4. And his sons went and feasted in their houses, every one on his day. I'm assuming that's on the birthday. On everybody's birthday, they party. Amen. They wine and dine, and they had a good time. So, uh, verse 5. And so it was when the days of their feasting were gone. Now listen to what Job did. Job sent for his children and sanctified them. He prayed for them. He sanctified them and set them apart, read the word of God unto them, and rose up early in the morning and, and, and offered burnt offerings According to the number of them all, listen to what Job was thinking. This is a good day. For Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Amen. You know, when you, when you get full of that wine <laughs> and whatever else they might have been doing, amen. Job said, well, they might have cursed God. Why it was like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to take, uh, I'm going to be sure that uh, they're covered by the blood. Amen. Because burnt offering was the blood of the animal that covered your sin. So when God looked down, he didn't see your sin. He saw the blood of the sacrifice which covered your sin. So he said that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. This did Job continually. You see, you got to be uh, 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 you got to be forthright with the Lord. You can't do something today and praise Him today and don't praise Him tomorrow. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because God is good every day. Yeah. Amen. 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 So verse 5, and it was so, listen to this real good, when the days of feasting were gone, I did that. Verse 6, now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. 
No, I don't know about your Bible. I got Lord in all capitals. Yours probably is too. And that means that he's talking about Jehovah God. That's what that, all the capital letters. You look them up, he's talking about Jehovah God. He wasn't just praying to a God. He's praying to a particular God. Jehovah God. And Satan came also among them. Now let me explain that to you. In case somebody, I hear somebody saying, what was he doing there? Well, it says when the sons of God. Satan was a son of God. He's a fallen son. But he's a son. And he had to come and give God a report as to what he do. He done promised God he'll make all the people cuss him to his face. So God say, uh, uh, now the Lord said, verse 7 of Satan, uh, when's coming thou? Where you been? Then Satan answered the Lord and said from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. Why was he going to and fro and up and down? Looking for weak Christians. Looking for weak believers. Looking for them believers say they believe but they don't act like they believe. So he can whisper something in their ear and make them turn against the Lord. I got a witness here. Amen. Verse 8, and the Lord said unto Satan, uh, Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? Have you looked at Job, Satan? You've been up and down the earth. What you think about Job? And then God said, that There is none like him in the earth. He's perfect. That don't mean without mistakes. That ain't what the perfect is talking about. It means he's complete. He's all that he should be. And the upright man, one that fear God and hates evil, he's a good man. Verse 9, Satan said, well, I don't know about all that. I don't know about that, Lord. He said, uh, does Job fear you for now? That he got a reason to fear you? Look at what he said. Verse 10. Has not thou made a hedge about him, around him, his house, and about all that he had on every side, the left and the right? Has thou blessed the work of his hands, and, and, and his substance is increased in the land? So he don't have no reason to fear you. He ain't got no reason to fear you because you got a head thing. But I tell you what, verse 11, but put forth, now listen to now, Satan trying to tell God what to do. And you got people like that. They try to tell God what he ought to do and what he ought not do. But verse 11 says, that, that, that Satan says to God, but put forth thine hand now and touch all that he has, and he will curse thee to thy face. We're in verse 11. We're going to 12. And here's where the test comes in. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he has is in thy power. Only upon himself. Put not forth thine hand. Don't touch him. He's mine. Don't touch this. And from the presence of the Lord, Satan went forth. Verse 13. And that was the day when the sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in the eldest brother's house. And there came a messenger unto Job and said, Job, the oxen were plowed 
and the asses were feeding beside them. And the Sabians fell upon them and, and took them away. And yet they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword. And I only escaped alone to tell you. Verse 16. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The fire of God is fallen from heaven. What is he talking about? The fire of God. That's lightning. That's lightning. You see, you hear people when the storm is going on and, and lightning is striking and destroying people, and, and people say, Oh, you better be quiet because that's the work of the Lord. No, it ain't always the work of the Lord. That's what we see right here. Right here was Satan. Right. Satan can cause lightning to strike. Yes. Satan can get in men and make them rile up against you. That's what he did these two times. So Satan did that. Don't put that on God. Every time lightning strikes somebody in this bag, that's the devil. While he was yet speaking, verse 17, there came also another. The Chaldeans made out three bands. Listen. Fell upon the camels, carried them away. And, 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 and yea, and slain the servants with the edge of the sword. And I only am escaped alone to tell thee. See, Satan can get in anybody in anything. Amen. That's his job. Yes. That's why God's checking it. What you doing, Satan? You're doing your, yeah, Lord, I'm doing my job. I'm going up, up and down trying these folks. Who, who, who said that Christian when many of them are just church folk. Amen. Amen. There's a difference in church folk and, 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 and believing folk. Amen. Church folk sometimes just come church because that's what they were taught to do. Not necessarily because they love God. Some of them don't even know God. Some come to church to see what Sister Stevenson got on. Some come to see what I got on. And then some people come to church just to start a mess. Amen. Because the devil got in them. Amen. See, he out there. See, all of this we talking about is what? It's only a test. Only a test. See, you can't get in heaven without being tested. Because you say, I love the Lord. He heard my cry. You're going to be tested. Amen. And the other thing I want you to look at here is that uh, uh, Job was tested because he was an upright man. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Now, now I want you to understand something now. We all Job. Better get that in the cross. How did that happen to Job? God bragged on him. Huh? God bragged on Job. And all of because God bragged on Job, that brought it on to Job. But that wasn't no mistake. God knew what he was doing. Even though Job was an upright man and did everything right, he still had to be tested. People have to be tested. Yes. yes. Churches have to be yes. tested. Yes. Amen. Because you see, a church with a lot of members don't mean that it's full of believing church people. I heard Jesus say, the road to destruction is loaded, is crowded. There are many people yeah. traveling that road yeah. to destruction. Yeah, right. Amen. But he said the road to salvation 
It's a narrow road. Yes. And it's a winding road. Yes. And you see a Christian every now and then. Yes. Uh -huh. So you you in good you in good uh, uh when when you in with God and you doing what He want to do, you in good company. And that's what we want to be. Y'all come over here and find a spot. Amen. All right, let's get back to the text. So while he was yet speaking, there came another and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in the hell of the dwellers house. In other words, as Job said, he was afraid they might do something wrong and prayed for them. Well, this was one of them times yeah. when, when they were partying at, at the brother's house. Now, listen to what happened. And uh, I already told you that Satan can call down lightning. He can get in people and make them act nasty and kill people. Now, look what he did. Satan also can control the weather. All right, well, let me show you. Verse 19. We in the book of Job. Uh, we're still in the first verse, I believe. And while he was yet speaking, behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smoked the four corners of the house. And it fell upon the young men, and they are dead, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. See, Satan always keeps somebody to carry his bad news. Amen. 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 So the other thing we find out, that Satan controlled tornadoes. Because that when the hurricane hit their house. It hit the four corners. That's what tornadoes do. So Satan also controls weather. Amen. Soon as the tornado comes, the Lord is doing his work. No, it ain't always the Lord doing his work. That's what we find in our right here. Satan do the same thing. He got that power. He can send a tornado. He can send a flood. He can send all of those things. He can send lightning to strike. Because he did here. Then Job arose and rent his mantle. That means he tore it off. And his mantle was, was a robe. I hear people say he shouldn't wear pants in church. Well, they didn't wear pants back then. They wore robes. And tunics under the road. I'm talking about me. Pants is a United States thing. Amen. They didn't wear pants back. So when folks be talking about you all not wear pants in church, they don't know what you're talking about. You didn't get that out of the book. Because they didn't wear pants back then. They wore robes and tunics, and they had a wrap in here for men. I forget what they call it, but that's what they had. So I'm just explaining to you. So then Job realized what was going on. He rent his mantle, shaved his head, and fell down on the ground and complained. Didn't nobody get that. He didn't complain. He worshiped. Yeah. yeah. I thought y'all was reading along with me. I was wondering where that was at. <laughs> yeah. Amen. He fell down on the ground and he worshiped God. See, when trouble comes, that's the time to worship God. Yeah. That's the time that you want to give him your worship. So Job shaved his head, fell down on his ground, and worshiped the Lord. And then he spoke and said, Naked came I into the world, out of my mother's womb. 
and naked shall I return thither. The Lord has gave, and the Lord has taken away. But blessed be the name of the Lord. And in all this, Job did not sin foolishly. Verse 2, chapter 2, verse 1. Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came too. He was among them. He had to be. Because yeah. like I told you, he was a son. He's a foreign son, but he's a son. And just because you disobey God don't mean that you don't have to give an account for your stewardship. Amen. Amen. You didn't get away because you didn't come to church and worship him. <laughs> he got you. He got you. Amen. So, and the Lord said unto Satan, Where you been? From whence cometh thou? Where you been? And Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro and up and down, from walking up and down in the earth. And the Lord said unto Satan, Again, hast thou considered my servant Job? That there is none like him in the earth. He's perfect. He's complete. That's what that perfect means. That don't mean without mistake. I mean, he's complete. God made him complete. And there's none like him. He feared God. He assured the evil. And he still holds fast his integrity, his honesty, although you move me against him to destroy him without a cause. So what we talking about here? When things negative come in your life, you be in trouble. It's just a test. It ain't gonna last forever, but it's gonna last till it's over. It ain't now. Job went through this was a matter of months, not years. It's a matter of months what he went through. Now listen to what Satan said. After God said, yeah, you moved me against Job without a cause. But I did it because it's a test and I'm going to prove to you that Job is an upright man. And whatever you do to him, he going to still be an upright man. And whatever comes to us in our lives, whatever it is, it ain't. It's just what? A test. It'll soon pass. Yes. It ain't gonna last forever. Tests don't last forever. Mm -hmm. They last for a season. Mm -hmm. I heard uh, Solomon say, "There's a time and there's a season for all things. Amen. Time to laugh, time to cry, mm -hmm. time to be rich, time to be poor." Time to be hungry, time to be full, time to have, time to have not. See, life is a test. You can't get into heaven shepherd and giant. You can't get into heaven may like it. Too many folks out here may like it, may like they're Christian, but they don't miss it. When the test comes, they fall. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Just crying and moaning and going on. But Job shed his head. And, and when he sat on the dust pile, and said, the Lord gave and the Lord took. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yeah. So you got to realize everything comes from the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. When the evil come on you, that came from God, he said, okay, try it. 
I say good. You say bad. Try it. I, I got confidence in it. Yeah. Amen. Because like you have confidence in your kids. Because why? You raised them to be a certain way. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And when they go out there in the world, you know they're going to be all right. Amen. Because yeah. you put the right stuff in them. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And you ain't got to be on their trail uh, to see what they're doing all the time. You have to trust God to lead them like he led you. Amen. All right, let's get some more of this. I'll right, beat this off. Get back over there. Verse 4. Satan said, say something now, Satan got something for you now. He's smiling in you. Don't think you're smiling in him. The only time you smarter than him is when you depend on God to fight him right. for you. Because he's the top angel. That's right. He got all the powers of an angel. Right. Amen. And he don't mind using them against you and me. That's what we learned tonight out of this. It's only test. Say nice. Listen to this now. Okay, well, all right. He said to the Lord, skin for skin, verse 4, chapter 2, Yet yeah, all that a man hath, he will give for his life. In other words, in other words, he said, well, you can take his house. That ain't him. You can take his kids even. That still ain't him. Amen. That, that's his kids. You can take all his camels, you can take everything he got, but that still ain't him. But let me do something to him. <laughs> that was Satan saying, ain't he sweet? He says, skin for skin, yea, verse 4, all that a man hath will he give for his own life. Oh yeah, that's how people that they'll let their kids go for the I give you one truck. Trump throw them kids under the bus before he go under the bus. Amen. <laughs> you better believe it. Yeah. And everybody else he connected with. Yeah, that's right. He'll let all of them go under the bus before he go under the bus. And that's what Satan is saying here about Job. He'll let all that go down. You didn't get him. So he said, now, let me do something to him. Verse 5. So now he's telling God what to do again. But put forth thine hand now, and touch his bone and flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. God have mercy. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, Satan, he's in your hand. Do whatever you want to do to him, but don't take his life. Amen. His life belongs to me. Amen. Now you can do whatever you want to do to him to make him curse me. Go ahead on and do it. Well, what you think Satan did? Verse 7. So went Satan forth from the presence of the Lord and smote Job with sore boils from the sole of his foot under the bottom to the top of his head. He smote Satan with boils. Let me explain what the boils are. He gave them leprosy. That's what the boils are. So, Job went and sat on the dust field. I know where he take the garbage, because he was garbage at this point. His body was rotten. And then he took the, 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 the piece of a pot, heard which he put plants in, that crop. Amen. See, the boils were, were, were letting out uh, pus. Pus was running out of these balls. And, and, and if that pus, I don't know if you ever had a ball where the pus run out and it itch and then it, 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 it get infected.
that. So, so, so he's sitting on the dust hill, scraping himself. Because it's itching. And it's a whole body. From the, from the crown to the bottom of his foot, he's sitting there scratching himself, trying to stop that itching from the boil, which was leprosy. That's what the book said. I looked it up. I didn't make that up. And, and, and well, verse 8, he took the pot shirt and scraped himself with all. And he sat down among the ashes. Now, Satan is, is, is he's a terrible guy, isn't he? Now, he done went to his wife. He couldn't get to him through the kids. He couldn't get to him through all that he had. So he said, well, now let me go to the wife. Then said his wife, verse 9, unto him, dost thou still retain thy honesty? Why don't you curse God and die? What a thing for a wife to say. But I ain't going to be too hard on her. Because she had never seen Job like this before. And she knew if he cursed God, he's going to die. Then he'd be out of his misery. So I give her that credit. But Job said, <laughs> look what Job said. He said, thou speakers as one of them foolish women. Speak. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of God? And shall we not receive evil? So I tell you, everything comes from God. Job says this. Then he says, in all this, did not Job sin with his will? Boy, that Job was quite a guy. Do you love the Lord like Job did? Could you take that? We all have our crosses and back. Amen. We all are Job. You can just put J-O-B in your middle name. Okay. Amen. Because if you say you're going to live for God, Satan's going to say, no, nah, you ain't. You say, I'm going to sing for it. No, nah, you ain't. He'll mess with your voice. Ask my wife. He messed with her voice. She had problems once. Because she's doing so good, I just Satan struck her down with with problems. Mm. But she believed the Lord. Yes. You heard her singing, didn't you? All right. Okay. All right. You sound like she had problems. All right, then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm testifying for her. All right, then. I'm testifying for you. I'm testifying for me. Because we all been through something. Oh, yes. yes. And we still going through something. Because yes. Satan don't let up. Yes. Okay. You heard what he said? Going to and fro, mm -hmm. up and down. Mm -hmm. Looking for weak believers. Looking for believers who don't believe. Yeah. Looking for church folk. Mm -hmm. Now wait a minute, this ain't all. This ain't all. I, I can't give it all to you, but I'm going to give you much as I can. Listen to this. He couldn't get into his substance, all that he owned and had. He couldn't get it. He couldn't get it when uh, he smoked uh, him with leprosy. So he said, well, I know how to get it. Verse 11. Now, Job was, we read earlier, Job was the richest man in the land. So everybody knew Job. Job had friends. Amen. Listen to it. Verse 11. Now, when Job's three friends, and he's lucky he had that many, heard of all this evil that was come upon him, there came everyone from his own place. They lived in different cities. Eliphaz the Temanite, Bildad the Shuhite, and Zophar the Namanite, 
For they had made an appointment together. They heard about Job's plan. And they talked about it and said, we ought to go and, 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 and be support for Job. Amen? Amen. And so they made it and they came to mourn with him and to comfort him. And when they, verse 12, lifted up their eyes afar and knew him not, they looked at him, but they didn't recognize him. That's what they're saying. Because Job was looking a real messy this time. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. His hair fell out. Mm -hmm. If you read further down in there, his teeth fell out. <laughs> Amen. He said his breath stank. <laughs> he said his, his servants didn't respect him no more. Mm. Amen. And then they wouldn't listen to him, do what he said. And, 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 and when they lifted up their eyes and fall and knew not who he was, they lifted up their voice and wept. You know, people in the Middle East, they're real good for weeping. You know, men weep louder than women. And, and, and they rent every one his mantle, tore it off, and sprinkled dust upon their own head. To be with Job. Mm. And they sat down upon the ground with Job seven days and seven nights. Mm. And none spoke a word. They wouldn't even talk. They were so overwhelmed. Amen. And, 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 and they saw that his grief was very great. Who was that humming over there? And after this, opened Job's mouth and cursed to the dead. Job did. Mm -hmm. And then them friends were sitting there. And then after a while, you got to look at me for this one. They looking at him and they went to, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah. We see you. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They went from moaning with Job to talking about Job. Yeah. Oh, how many times in your life have you heard people say bad things about you and it wasn't true? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. They were friends. Yeah. They were so-called yeah. friends. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They stopped mourning and started thinking mm -hmm. their own thoughts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Joe, we see you. You talking about you all that righteous and all? Nah, we ain't going for that. Yeah. Because if you was all that, God wouldn't have never done this to you. All right. What's Speaking you? out of ignorance. Okay. Yeah. You got a lot of people speak out of ignorance. They tell you what they think instead yeah. of telling you what the word say. Yeah. And the word is right in front of them. All right, now. Mm -hmm. Come on. But they tell you what they think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because right. that's that's appropriate for them mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Amen. But I want you to know, I can't tell you everything, but I want you to know that this is all a test. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. What we're going through here, it's a test. Yes. Yes. That's right. Amen. It ain't no last forever. Yeah. All right, man. That's why you got to be like Joe. You got to believe on the Lord no matter yes. what happens to you. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's true. Oh, y'all know what I'm talking about. Flood came in here. Just a few of us. And we worked with it. We prayed about it and we did what we had to do. Oh, yes. But we did not curse God no. and blame God no. for this. All right. They do. It's only a test. Yes. All right. I think I said enough today. Oh, yes. I think I said enough. Yeah.